I'm going to suggest there is no such thing as hate speech. It's just one's personal views. Um, I mean, if you want to say what hate speech is, feel free to define it because, you know, it's, it's down as something that is interpreted by different people in different ways. An example could be, I'll, I'll put it in another way. If I was to say, what's porn? Everybody's got a different idea. You know, some would say full-on sex, others would say topless pictures of naked ladies or topless, just topless pictures. Others would even not just say um, things like a fully dressed person in rubber wear. Um, all these will be, you know, this is why it becomes difficult is porn, you know, the paintings you see in art galleries is that porn statues is that porn of naked people one's interpretation is very difficult it gets a difficult situation um, so when it comes to hate speech what does it mean well it often means what it often means that it's something you don't agree with so you know and what's um, acceptable is what you agree with so for instance when we saw the Labour MPs walking around with I won't kiss a Tory or something like that, you know, that would be, to some, a definition of hate speech. Pure hate. Um, when you see Labour and unions post um, F the Tories, I mean, that's clearly hate speech. But the trouble is that it's all down to whose side you're on. So obviously, if Labour in power, I think that wouldn't be condemned. And that's the problem. Now, you also have the problem is you, people giving an opinion. And what does it matter? What does it matter if somebody said, I hate this religion, I hate that certain sector of society, whatever. Now, I wouldn't ever do that. Labour, you know, Labour people do it often. They say we hate, you know, the rich. We hate, um, I don't know, companies. We hate, um, I don't know. They're always coming out with something new to hate. Or white people, working class. You know, carry on and on and on. Um, so, this is the problem. These are the people who are, you know, the Labour MPs. And the Labour people, supporters, seem to be the ones that believe they have the right to decide what hate speech is. So you can see where the problem occurs. But yeah, I, I, I'd say that I'd rather people express... Because the whole point, the problem is, is who decides? And that's your big debate. And we've seen the problem recently in Scotland where, and I'll keep repeating it, a chap posted a a comedy sketch of his pug doing a little Nazi salute and that was translated into a criminal act and I think he's been charged and co convicted. That's the problem. You know, you can't say, oh, this might, this will never happen. It already has happened. And now they're wanting to increase the laws. Um, but, you know, the, the point in America, and you'll find this, is it doesn't have hate speech, it's got freedom of speech, and part of that is the, you have the right to say nasty things. And, you know, the old saying is, I'll defend you, I might not agree with what you have to say, but I'll defend your right to say it, and that's, you know, I will do that. If you say something, even if it's against me, horrible things, I'll defend your right to say it. What I won't allow, obviously, is if you slander me and say lies. Somebody said I've done a criminal act when I haven't. That's slander. That's wrong. That's the difference. And, you know, I can then take somebody to court for that. But if you said, oh, I don't like me, you know, I think, uh, you know, that's your right. You can say you hate me. Well, I would disagree. You don't have a right is to post somebody's details because that's, you know, to me an act of trying to get them murdered. When somebody, you know, when we see the lefties post people doxing, as the Americans, I think, refer to it, people's home addresses, maybe real names, or people disagree with, that's, to me, an encouragement to kill somebody. That's murder. You know, that's what I'd argue. You shouldn't have that right. 
But, you know, I think you've got the right to say, I don't like whatever group. And we can debate it. And I don't even believe that I should have the right to, as the expression goes, call you out on it. I don't believe you should call anybody out on their opinions as if you're superior or you know you're correct. You may believe you're correct. doesn't mean you necessarily are correct. But I'll defend, you know, I'll debate with you. If I see something, I'll debate and question it. Maybe ask for evidence. You know, like um, one of the things that... And remember, one of the problems with a free speech banning is that it's not so long ago I was saying things such as non-medical grade masks don't work that was considered a conspiracy theorist. Now, even the BBC have stated that's true. You know, because I've always said you need N95 N99 masks. Um, and yet, my speech on that was censored. And guess what? And this, what was the result of that? You might think, oh, well, is that harmful? Well, yes, because a lot of people then went out in these fake non-medical grade masks, which, by the way, because they're made in such bad conditions, they could be breathing in all sorts of toxic fibres and end up with lung cancer in years to come. But they were going to the relatives, feeling smug and safe, then passing COVID on, and the relatives died. So that's, you know, that's the result of censorship. It's dangerous. Um, because, again, just because to, on that day they presumed they were in the right, it turned out they weren't. Turned out I was correct as usual. So, no, I disagree that hate speech is real because of the, you know, you'd have to define it. And I think that's where it becomes unstuck. It sounds simple. It's one of them things where people go, oh, yeah, it's simple. But then you could question it. And then you realise, you know, you, you, you're exposed to it yourself. You've got Labour MPs walking around in hateful shirts. You've got unions, even this week I posted how, you know, one was saying F conservatives. That's really offensive. That, by the definition of hate, is definition of hate speech. Be, you know, posting, re, you know, hateful remarks about a group of people. And yet, you know, the Labour people keep silence. They accept that. And that's the danger. You can see what happens is that as long as it's on your side, you'll stay silent. You don't see it as hate. And people don't. So the Labour lot will never see real hate, even if it exists there. And that's why they get away with, you know, that's why they feel it's acceptable to assault people. And yes, I have been assaulted by leftists because I was recording, a, a, you know, a group of people demonstrating. Well, I wasn't assaulted, actually. I was threatened. Three guys came up to me and said, if I didn't leave, they'd kick the F out of me. You know, these are the lefties who were claiming they were good people. Um, and that's what you get. So, no, I think the problem is, is that if you think you're able to define what hate speech is, I suspect that you'll only view it from your point of view. Um, I mean, look, just look what's happened in Labour Party. How many people posting horrible things about Jewish people, even today? I'm seeing some really unpleasant things about that countdown lady from people, and the, you know, from Labour people, and they justify it. They go, oh, it's justified, blah, 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 blah. So, you know, you're the ones who are on in the believe in this hate speech nonsense and yet you, you know we can see how it works but yeah that's just a point folks all right